So one one of the moments that are, that is tough for athletes is that reality check. It, it sets in. Some at an early age, some at forty, whatever it may be. Right. Um, when when you decided to not play football anymore, um, what did you go through mentally uh, with that? Well, I mean, you know, it was a hard decision. I, I didn't. It didn't affect me until later on in life because, like, you know, you go through college, you have other distractions of, you know, getting your grades. Uh, doing the things that you have to do, but you know when you start to reminisce, and then I know a lot of athletes have this, and you, when you get these flashback dreams, and and you're you're dreaming that you know you're on the field again. I, I get them now. I mean, and they drive me crazy because it's always I'm about to make a great play and I wake up. You know, that type of stuff it haunts me, and and it's it's hard it's hard to hard to deal with because as a competitor you used to be in that full throttle at all times. And, you know, when you get to a point where you can't do it anymore, I mean, it gets tough. I mean, I, I stay active. I, I participate in our alumni football games every year. Uh, you know, I try to play softball if there's a softball league around. Just try to stay in shape, you know, try to stay young at heart, young at mind. Uh, but um, it, it got real hard, and it's like, you know, when you start dealing with it, say, well, you know, when it's time to put them up, you got to put them up. Right now, I'm still holding on to some strings. Is you know, we're playing with the younger guys and trying to relive the old glory days. Uh, but I don't think I've gotten to the point yet where I actually realize what I have to ha hang them up. So, did you graduate from Miami University? No, I, I didn't get. I didn't get a chance to graduate from Miami. I actually had to come back after my sophomore year due to the fact that my parents, you know, uh, at that time. Uh, it was going through a transition period. My father actually became a preacher, a preacher, and you know, he gave up his trucking job to become a preacher. So any additional funds that I had uh, going to the school, you know, I had to actually come back because my parents couldn't afford it anymore. So I mean, you're figuring about maybe a couple thousand dollars a semester. Uh, I could have stayed in school and went all the way through, but you know, unfortunately, it didn't happen. So you know, I just had to go through it the hard way. Came back home. Um, taking some classes at Purdue Cal uh, and, and doing that and you know I'm maybe about 17 credit hours short of a degree right now uh, which I plan to go ahead and finish up since I have my daughter off to college now so the next person is to take care of myself and make sure I get those papers so.